Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and I'm here playing two different horror games. The first of which is called Lazarus, which is a horror game where you've been shot out of an airlock because people were suspicious of you. Better go next time, Lazzy. Wait, what? I Breathe in, hold space, breathe out, release space. Oh god, I'm spinning. Oh, thank god, Laz. Oh, I can't believe you're still alive after four days out there. I'm so sorry, man. We should have trusted you, but it was red. Oh my god. The imposter. This was sus. Okay, I'm feeling this game out. I've, I've sent some oxygen capsules to your location. Try to use them to stay alive. And also, use your suit functions wisely. The mobility of that suit lies at the mercy of your oxygen tank. Be careful, as The solar system garbage patch is no joke. And there's a chance that Red might still be out there too. Wait, what? Issue, red is within your vicinity. Advice, avoid. Is that red looking at there with the evil glowing eyes? I'm pretty sure that's red looking at me with the evil glowing eyes. I think they are coming right my way. I'm actually curious, like, how do you, do you look like a... Whoa, who are you? That was close. Oh, they're, they're coming back for round two. Good thing they're not too, uh... The control settings are a little interesting. Please don't not hit me, Red. Oop! Ooh, that one's a little close. I just want to get back to the ship. Leave me alone. Oh, they're coming for the south. Oh, oh god. Okay, so it's not a complete game over, but it is. Come now, come now, come now, come now. Got up. Got up. Control. Red really wants me dead for some reason. Need to need to bring it under control. Need to bring it under control. We're almost kind of there. Nope. Never mind. Red finished us off. Oh, two levels low. We're gonna, we're gonna die. Yeah, once once red gets you, you're kind of in a loop. This is this is pretty trippy. There we go. Finally, sweet release. <laughs> Suffocation. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Nice. Functions wisely. The 
availability of that suit lies at the mercy of your oxygen tank. Be careful, lads. The solar system garbage patch is no joke. Here comes Brian. Red might still be out there. There's an oxygen tank vaguely towards this way. I can make it that way. Try to stay alive. I need to tag it if I can. No, 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 no. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Oh god, Red got me. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Where am I, where am I? Where did Red send me? Oh god, here he comes. Woo! Well, he set us way off from the, uh, oxygen tank. So we're, uh, committed to going this way now. Nope. Break, break, break. Break, 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 break. The break takes up a lot of oxygen. Re adjust my head. There comes red, there comes red. Whoa, it was close. Sus. Come on, we're so close. Pick up the speed. There is an oxygen tank kind of south. If I can tag it, I'm pretty good. But I don't think... I'm moving too fast to get it. And if I hit the brakes... Red may tag me. So I gotta be really careful. Pick up the speed. Red's pretty far behind. I think we've made it. I just smacked into it, that's what I did. Where do I go? <laughs> Maybe toward the front of it. No, okay, no. It, work, there it goes. You made it. Now take your time and take a deep breath. So the second game we'll be playing is called Night Walk, which is a micro horror game about taking a walk at night. Well, we have chosen the absolutely worst night. It's raining, it's like foggy, it's like we're alone in the woods. We're asking to die. Maybe we are. Canon event. At least it's like relatively well lit if you're near a light pole. There are some weird gaps between them, and there's some blood on the, the down there, but that's pretty normal for the city. Is that blood? What happened here? I need to get out of here. I ain't dealing with no babies. Seriously, I'm, I'm walking all the way back. We're going the other way. I am not dealing with that. Can I... Can I actually leave for this direction? This is just a waste of time. 
Oh? Ending two out of three. Fuck this shit, I'm out. He left the baby to die. Nice. Someone's gonna clip that out of context or in context. Manly leaves babies to die? I feel like I got some time off work. Time to leave another baby to die. So what do I... Can I take the knife? Is that Chris's blood? That's very, that's very suspicious. Like... Baby? Eh. Oh god, baby! Ending three out of three. Death. The void awaits you. Let's just go home now. Maybe that's an ending in itself. Just never encounter anything. And he went out of three. I'm too tired. You felt too tired to go for a walk. Damn right. So that's it for those two different horror games. The uh, first game we talk about is the Lazarus Project. And I'll just say that this was a hard one to pair with something else. Because like I always try to pair these. Like I try to like save them up footage wise and pair them with things to make sense thematically. But like what, what do you pair with the sus game? Every other game you, you're going to play with it is just going to be sus overpowered out. So, that, that, that was a tricky one. But yeah. I really like space games. They actually like mess with the way you move and control in space. So I think the idea, I mean, they, they framed it with an Among Us kind of meme. But I think the idea of just trying to navigate your way back is a fun concept. And then they threw in the little twist with the, uh, the red going around trying to mess you up and stuff like that. So like there was a little bit of like a mix up there. I think another game that pretty good space section was uh, Dead Space. Dead Space had some good stuff like that. But overall, it's, it's one of those like simple game jammy ideas that's unique enough where it works pretty well in the format. And it, you know, stands out to be a little different than some of its other uh, peers because of that. And talking about the uh, next game, uh, Nightwalk. So not much to say about this developer looks like they're trying to do like a lot of micro horror games. I think they mean like three of them or something. Um, and they're all like this, like really, really short. Just you walk up and get jump scared, which is fine. I mean, they're free. Some of these developers actually do try to charge for this stuff, which I don't agree with, but it's, you know, people can do whatever they want. And people can, you know, can inherently make whatever length or type of game they want to make. And I did catch you kind of, uh, for something you just walk up and get jump scared. I just kind of like the fact you could like walk away twice. Like, there's two ways of walking away. So I felt a little, like, a little bit like a parody. That's how I interpret things anyway. But yeah. So thank you all for watching play these two different horror games. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.